In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite ways to fix a naked put option that's gone against you. You've been trading naked put options for any amount of time. Eventually, you're going to have some positions that go against you. Here are my favorite four ways to fix that situation. Let's start with the simplest and easiest one first. The put option has moved against you, but it hasn't moved against you too far in the money. You can just roll the put option out to a later expiration date. For example, here's one of our rollout orders that we have sitting out there in the market right now. Last month, we sold the October 15th $50 put option in Walgreens, ticker symbol WBA. Unfortunately, as you can see here, Walgreens hasn't cooperated with us. Our naked put option is now trading about $2 in the money or below our short strike price. We don't necessarily want Walgreens to be assigned to us, so we're trying to roll this position out to November. In order to do that, we have a limit order sitting out there in the market to roll the October $50 put option out to November 19th at that same $50 strike price. And we're trying to get about $1.38 per share for that roll. We still have some time because as you can see here, the out of the money call option still has about 61 cents of time value left in it. That means that our naked put option most likely has about the same amount of time value premium left in it as well. Because of that, we're not in any real jeopardy of Walgreens being put into our account or signed to us at this time. However, between now and next Friday, we plan to get this option rolled out to give Walgreens some extra time to move above that short $50 put option strike price that we sold last month. This is how I handle a naked put option in a stock that's gone against us but appears to be trying to recover. What about a stock that's gone down but is still showing some weakness? It might even have gone against you in such a way that you think it may not come back anytime soon. How do you handle that situation? Well again, we're going to do what we mentioned earlier, which is roll the put option out in time, but now we're going to try to roll that strike price down. Here's an example of a trade in which we roll the naked put option strike price down. When we initially sold this $75 put option in Consolidated Edison on September 10th, it had recently broke out above the green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart. It appeared to be finding support right around our short strike price of $75. It also found support there five other times over the previous several weeks. Because of that, we felt comfortable selling the $75 strike put option in Consolidated Edison. However, things don't always turn out the way you plan for them to. Now I fast forward the chart to yesterday when I did this trade in Edison. At the base of the arrow, towards the left side of that arrow, that's where we initiated this position. As you can see, Edison proceeded to pretty much go straight down until yesterday. Because of the weakness it's showing, and as now below the 200 moving average, I decided to give myself more room to be wrong and still win in this position. Here's the trade we did. As you can see here, we bought to close the October 15th $75 strike put option. That cost us $1.69 per share. Simultaneously, we sold the third Friday of November 72.5 put option for $1.76 per share. That means we were able to roll the strike price down by $2.50 per share and we're still able to pocket $0.07 cents per share. This is a nice example of how to handle a put option that's gone against you when you don't feel really good that it's going to rebound anytime soon and want to give yourself some more room to be wrong and still get a win. So we've given ourselves $2.50 more room to be wrong and still get a win here. And we also got enough money to go out and buy us a Happy Meal or maybe even two at McDonald's for our $7. This is my absolute favorite strategy to implement if I have a naked put option that just doesn't want to cooperate with our initial trade. But what about a naked put option that has really gone against you in a big way? What can you do about that? If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I only like to trade in companies that I consider solid, mature, and that are consistently profitable. So when we have a position that's gone against us, as long as the fundamentals of the company haven't really changed, we're going to ride the position out and just focus on collecting as much cash as possible while we wait for the stock to recover. I don't know about you, but I know that I have some Clorox products in my house. And I know that it is a consistently profitable company. As such, about six months ago, on April 21st, we sold some naked put options in Clorox. I mean, the setup looked really good. Let me show you. As you can see where the yellow line is, Clorox has switched from a downtrend on the daily chart to an uptrend. It was making higher highs and had just made a higher low right around $185 per share. If you notice down the volume section at the bottom right where the purple arrow is, volume was increasing as the stock went up in price. This told us that there was really nice buying pressure in Clorox. Seeing this, we sold an out of the money put option at the 190 strike price. Well, things don't always go according to plan. I mean, honestly, we sold that put option at the highest price day since April 21st. It's almost like the world thinks that people are going to stop buying Clorox products. I know that's not going to happen, and I also know that Clorox is a great and very profitable company. Nothing has changed fundamentally with Clorox. The stock's price is just down right now. So what can we do to fix this situation and what Clorox has gone against us? I don't know about you, but cash flow always makes things better for me. Let's generate as much cash flow as possible and use Clorox to do that. Here's the trade we did yesterday. 
Notice that not only do we roll our 185 put option out to November, but we also sold a 180 call option that expires on the same day, November 19th. As a result, even though Clorox is deep in the money on our naked put option, we were still able to pocket $2.80 per share on this trade. By selling a call option, as well as rolling the deep in the money put option out, we've been able to generate nice cash flow in Clorox. In fact, as you can see here, we started selling call option in Clorox two months ago on August 3rd. The result is that even though Clorox has gone against us in a pretty big way, we've still been able to pocket over $12 per share in cash flow by rolling the naked put options as well as selling a naked call option. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, then I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And thank you so much for doing that. Now you want to be careful with this strategy because if you're just selling a naked call option, you're actually not in a covered call position. So theoretically, the stock could shoot up in price, go past your short put option, and actually go past your short call option strike price could put you in a bad situation. If that were to happen, then theoretically, you could experience unlimited loss if the stock just kept going up and up and up. I'm not opposed to selling naked call options in a stock where I have a naked put option that's gone deep in the money. However, in a stock like Clorox that has been experiencing quite a bit of volatility, I don't mind buying some insurance to protect myself just in case Clorox were to go wild and shoot way past the short put and short call option strike prices that I've sold. In order to protect us, as you can see here, I bought the same expiration day, November 19th, 210 call option, and it only cost us 10 cents per share. So we gave back a little bit of our premium, but we also limited the amount that we could lose if Clorox were to all of a sudden shoot way past our short call option strike price. Next, I want to share with you an out-of-the-box way to help not only fix a naked put option that's gone against you, but possibly fix an entire naked put option portfolio that's gone against you. This isn't one that we use very often, but when we do, I'm so happy that we have this technique at our disposal. As a matter of fact, we put it to work this month when the market went against us. Here's one of the secret weapons I use when I have multiple naked put options or covered call positions that have gone against us. Apparently back on September 2nd, Mr. Market and the S&P 500 woke up in a bad mood and he's been grumpy ever since. As a result, the S&P 500 has dropped over 6% in the past month. Since our portfolio is primarily made up of short naked put options, as well as covered calls and poor man's covered calls, the 6% drop in the overall market, it's affected our positions. We have several put options that have gone in the money, as I shared with you earlier in this video. We also have several covered call options in which the covered call is now out of the money. As a result, when we go to roll them, we won't get as much premium as if the market hadn't dropped that 6%. Now don't get me wrong, we have plenty of positions that are doing great and making us great returns, but we have enough positions that have gone against us, so I decided it was time to pull out one of our secret weapons and fire around. I fired the first shot about a week and a half ago on September 28th. Here you see the trade that we did. With the market still showing an overall weakness, we sold a naked call option in SPX, which is pretty much the same thing as SPY, but kind of like it's on steroids. You see, one contract of XPX is approximately the equivalent of 10 contracts of SPY. The difference is that SPX has European style options, so there's no risk of early assignment. Since our cash flow wasn't going to be quite as good as it typically would be because the overall market was down some, we decided to sell a call option that would generate some extra cash flow, but still a nice safe distance out of the money just in case the SP500 decided to rebound sharply. So on September 28th, we sold the SPX 4650 call option and received $2.85 per share. As you can see here, in order to reach our short call option strike price, the S&P 500 will actually have to be off the chart within the next 30 days. Two days after we sold the initial naked call option, with the S&P 500 still looking kind of weak, we sold a second naked SPX call option, but this time at the $4,600 strike price. For that, we received $2.60 per share. Now, if you decide to do a similar trade, you wanna make sure that you're careful with this. Remember, the SPX is approximately 10 times the SPY. So if you have a smaller account and like this strategy, you might consider selling call options in SPY instead of SPX. In all, as you can see here, despite the overall market being down over 6% this month, these two trades help finish off an overall really nice cash flow month for us in September. If you'd like to receive alerts as soon as we do trades similar to the ones I mentioned in this video, consider the benefits of becoming a patron down in the link in the description below. If you'd like to see more details on how to sell put options for consistent monthly cash flow, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Selling Put Options Explained with Real Life Examples. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.